Okay, this little lesson is just to help you understand the concept of um, lines of latitude and longitude. Now some of you may already know this, you may have uh, done geography or you may have been paying attention in class when they spoke about this, I don't know. So if that's the case you don't need to watch this lesson. Uh, but if you're not sure what latitude and longitude are all about and what those numbers mean, uh, here's a little lesson that might help you understand that. So I'm in Google Earth at the moment and here is the world and I can just pick it up and spin it around like that and that's fine. And most of you would know that uh, if you look down the bottom of the world here, then that big white thing at the bottom is the South Pole. And if you tip it around this way, then there's this general area at the top here, which is called the North Pole. And I think most of you would be aware that there's a line that goes around the middle of the Earth called the Equator. All right, well, we can show those. In fact, if I just go to the View menu here and say, show me the grid, uh, we can actually see all those lines. So there, in the, across the middle of the screen here, you can see there's the Equator. And if I tilt the Earth up this way, you can see they all meet at the top there at the North Pole and again tilt it around the other way and you can see they all meet at the bottom at the South Pole. Well that's all good but what are these numbers that you see floating around on the screen? Well here's the way it works. You all know that a circle has 360 degrees so if I was to pick up the world and look at it from the top like this you could start at any one of these lines and go around in a circle and you would do a 360 degree turn. So what they do to try and differentiate or explain where somewhere is on the world is they take this and they, well first of all they have to decide where is the zero point. And because uh, so much of um, civilization began from English culture, the zero point, if I just zoom in a little bit there, this yellow line that goes down through here goes through London and it's called the prime meridian. Okay, so the prime meridian, if I zoom back out again, is the line that goes from top to bottom that travels through London. Okay, and that's that yellow line there. Now, if you look at that line, if you go from London this way, then you're said to be traveling east. And this way is west. So if I start at this yellow line here and I go 30 degrees east, it's going to put me on this line here. If I was to go 50 degrees west, for example, it's going to put me on this line here, west 50. So I can use these imaginary lines to tell me how far east or west I am of the line that goes through uh, London, the prime meridian. Now, also, the line that goes around the centre of the Earth, which is called the equator, is similarly measured. So I can say from this line here, the equator, I can go north 10 degrees or I could go south 10 degrees and I could keep going 30 degrees south, 50 degrees south, all the way till I get to the bottom where I'm in fact at the south pole where I'm 90 degrees south and of course after that I'd be starting to go back up towards the equator again. Um, so everywhere on the earth can be explained by giving it where these two lines cross. The lines that go around the earth are called latitude, the lines that go from top to bottom are called longitude. So let's flip around to Australia and we'll just have a bit of a look here. So you can see if I look at Australia, Australia is obviously south of the equator. Well how far is it south? Well there's 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, Sydney's a little bit further. So Sydney's roughly 30 something degrees south. Make sense? Now what about uh, in terms of distance from London, where well you can see here's East 90, East 110, East 130, East 150, and the East 150 line almost goes through Sydney. So if we had to describe roughly where Sydney is, it's, a, it's about 30 something degrees south and 150 something degrees east, and that'll put us here. Hopefully that makes sense. Now if I zoom in on Sydney, and let's just make North face North, Okay, so if I zoom in, you can see as I zoom in on this particular map, the lines become more, um, I'm just going to turn all those labels off because it's a bit hard to see. So I've marked where PLC is here and you can see that as I get closer, the lines actually become more uh, more accurate. So, so PLC here is actually 151 degrees 0 0.06 or 0 0.06 minutes east of London and it's also almost 33.54 degrees south of the equator. Now let's keep going in and zooming right in here on there is the school right there and you can see here's the line here east 
So we're getting quite specific about how far east we are. And if I can find the number on the other line, we're south 33 degrees 52 46.56 and a bit. So we're a bit further south than that. So if we zoom in even further, it's actually possible if we're really, really accurate to uh, so here we have the rose garden for uh, sorry uh, here we have the rose garden we could actually give an exact coordinate for the rose garden we could say exactly how far south it is from the equator and exactly how far east it is from uh, London or from the prime meridian and that's what we need to do for this project we need to now find out where all the exact and I do mean exact points are for each part of the school and give them the coordinates or the lat and long coordinates. Now I'm just going to flip over to here. You recognize this um, this poi chart here. So you can see the aquatic center is minus 33. Now sometimes instead of north or south we use the minus. So we are minus 33 degrees 0.881424 degrees south or, or minus from the equator and we are 151.117081 degrees east from the prime meridian or the line that runs through London and by getting these two very exact values we can go back here to the aquatic center and we can figure out that the line that runs through the aquatic center uh, we can figure out what its exact coordinates are hope that makes sense now when you're plotting where to put an exact coordinate well the aquatic center here is actually quite big so where would you put the coordinate point would you put it in the middle would you put it at the end would you put it in the corner we have to figure out we can only in indicate one particular spot for this so where's that spot going to be well I would suggest to you that if you're standing in the garden over here uh, and you're using your mobile phone with an augmented reality application to try and uh, point it at the aquatic center to get information about it the point you'll probably uh, the, the place you'll probably point it at is probably the entrance so the front door so I would actually put the marker here just above the front doors um, if likewise if you're going to do the AKT I'd probably consider the marker to be somewhere here uh, just inside the foyer because that's where people will be aiming for when they're pointing their phone at it so that's enough for that I'm going to create another little video now to explain to you the next bit